has finally come. It is our last reset for 2023. So I spent my December 1st this morning waking up, taking a much needed yoga class, getting some work done from a cafe, and just really trying to embrace the last few days, weeks of December and 2023, and just finding the beauty in the mundane, because I think that's what makes life so beautiful, is that we find the joy in the little things. Looking back, it's honestly so wild that I started this series in the beginning of this year and now we're on our last one and honestly this is the first year that i have consistently tracked my finances written out my goals and trying to take actionable goals to achieve those things that i said that i wanted to achieve that were in my head but actually putting like pen to paper what i wanted has been so instrumental in my life this year and i feel like i learned so much and just want to keep implement those strategies for 2024 so this has been a very transformative year and I honestly think that's the perfect way to describe 2024 is that it's been so transformative for me. I've learned so much about myself, where I want to go. I think that I'm taking those baby steps to get myself to where I want to be and live the life that I want to pursue. And I think at the end of the day, that's all that matters is that your goals align with the person that you want to see in the life that you want to live in the future. So we still have a month left, but as you guys know, I tend to use December as just a month to tie any loose ends, slow down, reflect, and then implement new goals that I want to start achieving in 2024 in December. So we're going to do a little review of November, set new goals, and then stuff for the new year. Getting into November, if you guys remember in my November reset, I said that for my goals, I want to worry less about the quantity goals of, that I have and more about the quality of the goals that I'm trying to achieve because I'm someone who tends to get overwhelmed fairly quickly. And when I get overwhelmed, I don't take any action. So this month was very helpful for me to just also reset and take a step back and really think about what are those things that I want this month, but also how do they align with my 2023 goals so for finances i had two goals so start creating a financial plan and um, the goals that i want for 2024 did that um, it's not finalized yet i definitely started it though i'm starting to track like where am i traveling because i think one of the things i'm prioritizing especially financially is going on more trips with my friends so i think we have like four trips planned already like that are for sure that we started buying tickets and hotels for which i remember when i went through my finances in november i was like ah, we're not gonna buy anything or was i wrong we'll go through that for my finances but yeah it was november 28th is travel tuesday so we had to just hop on those those deals but it was money that i was gonna spend anyways but at least now it's at a discounted price so if i didn't buy now i'd be basically losing money in the future if i didn't buy it when it was on a discount you know saying like girl math that makes sense to anyone else because it makes sense to me. But started creating my financial plan for 2024, trying to finalize this month before January 1st hits. Definitely been checking my CSP more frequently as I'm gonna show you guys later and what I talked about last month. I've been implementing Copilot and I've been absolutely loving it and it just makes it so easier and more visually aesthetic for me to want to check what my conscious spending plan is. Relationship, started creating my Christmas gift list this year. I think I got all my main gifts that I needed to done and then now it's just kind of like those smaller gifts. So also made more of an effort when I was home to spend time with my family and friends during the holidays. For content, it was just to create, think more about what value I can add to your guys' life. And that's something that I'm trying to strategize again for 2024. I have been feeling very iffy with my YouTube and just content creation, but talking to my friends and just seeing your guys' comments really motivates me to continue even when I feel like I'm not putting out the best work that I absolutely can. Everyone kind of reminds me that, that that's okay. It can be cringy, it's fine, but just keep creating because you never know who you're gonna motivate and inspire, so. For health and wellness, learn more about cycle syncing. I was doing my TikTok research, my Google research, my YouTube research, all about cycle syncing and how to utilize my menstrual cycle to help me with my fitness goals and then also with eating what I should be eating when I'm in those different phases or seasons per se. So learned a lot about that this month and have been trying to implement it. Then also establishing my multiple morning routines. I finally sat down three different type of mornings. So first is a lazy girl morning where I wake up late and kind of roll out of bed before my first meeting. So I have a routine for that. 
if that's how I'm feeling. I have a slow morning routine where it's like I still wake up early, but I'm not feeling the gym. Maybe we can, we have time to go later, but I still wanna wake up early, be productive. And then I also have a morning routine for, I call it LFG. Those are for the mornings where I wake up early, I take a class or I go to the gym, do some strength training and then get ready for the day. So I wrote it on like next to my bed uh, with like dry erase markers that's way that way every morning I see it I'm like okay this is how I feel this is how we're gonna do it so let you guys know how that goes and I'm thinking about creating like a mini series of like each of those morning routines because I think it'll be helpful we're gonna start implementing it see how I like it see how I'm able to stick with that but honestly I think it's gonna be the right step forward because it's what I do anyways and at least this time it's like more intentional versus like waking up and not knowing what I'm gonna do and kind of like playing it by ear and then the last one for personal is clean more frequently we got a new vacuum shout out shark we love shark vacuums they're affordable and also really good so so those are all of my goals for November again not too many but I think a good end to November. Now going in to my December goals, you'll kind of see like I took a lot of the goals that I had in November and just like reestablished it for this for December. Cause like I said, we're slowing down, but we're also trying to implement some of the goals that I want to achieve in 2024 into December. But for finances, we want to finalize creating our financial plans and goals for 2024. I also want to use that spending plan Excel sheet that I started this year and calculating my average and then using that as the baseline for next year's budget. Um, I also want to write out and track my long-term financial goals. I think that's super important just to get it out all on paper. And then no spending outside of gifts and then plan lunch and dinners with friends. So no buying clothes or I don't know, home stuff or beauty stuff. I don't know how realistic that is, but that definitely is a goal this year just because of how much I ended up spending for booking hotels, flights, all that for travel in 2024. I'm like, okay, we got to slow down and cut back somehow. So that'll be my financial goals for this year. And I think along with creating my financial plan, I'm also just going to look at it and see like what areas of my budget and what areas with my finances can I kind of cut back on one of them and i can tell you right now was probably my personal care budget i think i was spending like upwards to like 180 200 dollars just on lashes and then i also get my eyebrows done so this year i'm trying to cut back on doing my lashes only getting it done for when i'm going on vacations that require me to go in the water and start trying to do diy clusters so shout out tiktok because i'm sure that's going to save me some money like these ones right now are from glamnetics and I actually, I really like them. So I'm gonna see how they do and if I can do it myself. Hopefully that will save me some money next year. Relationships, just wanna create more connection and genuine conversations. I think I've been doing that this year, but being more mindful of that, that's just always a goal every single time. Sometimes I can find myself disconnecting mid-conversation. Uh, mid so just being more focus and attentive to whoever's talking content same one just create taking the pressure off myself and just creating whatever makes me happy and making sure that it adds value um, health and wellness drink 90 ounces of water a day follow my morning routines that i started to establish personal is enjoy reading the book that i'm enjoy reading the midnight library which is a book that i'm reading now and instead of finish i crossed it out because it's what i originally wrote and i was like no you don't want to finish the book like i said before it's not about the quantity of books you read it's about the quality in which you read them so don't just finish it enjoy it understand it take it in really enjoy the book for what it is and the lessons that it's trying to teach and then i'm going to read five pages a day before bed is like the habit that's going along with that and then another thing too is revamping my notion for 2024 and creating a mood board for next year also revamping my notion for 2024 i'll be making a whole video about that there's a lot that i learned this year with my notion and i just want to want it to be more effective and productive for me next year so i'll do a whole walkthrough video once i have that established and share it with all of you because you know we're notion girlies it's been extremely helpful those are my goals for november and december and then going in to my finances I mentioned already i feel like my top spending categories are going to be rent is always number one 
travel vacation and also gifts because I started purchasing gifts for Christmas. But the good thing about purchasing gifts is that I have been slowly putting in, I think like $100 every single month since January to feed into my gift spending for this year. So technically it's not coming out of my paychecks that I'm be getting this month, but out of my savings, which is just a very good feeling. So I know that I'm not gonna be broke and down $2,000 once December hits. So again, I've been buying presents, started buying this month, which it's felt really good to kind of cross that off my list, but we have so many more people to go, but it's just good to get a head start on that. So looking at my November in review, we can see exactly like I predicted, rent, travel, vacation, gifts are my top three spending categories. Bills, I think we paid for Alaska Airlines to a trip to New York, which was, I think last time I went to New York from San Diego to LaGuardia, it was like $500 and we bought our ticket for 300, which is honestly really good. Also had to purchase a hotel room for our Hawaii trip in January for seven days. It came out to about $500 each, which is less than $100 a night. I feel like we got a really good deal on that. I put it on my card too, but you know, we're getting our points. I just opened a Blue Cash Preferred credit card and I think it's like spend 3,000 to get 200 points. I forgot what the deal was, but I think I did it in November or October, but I did like a my credit card audit. I started closing out cards that I just felt like weren't useful, weren't giving me the points that I needed. And honestly, we're just like, I opened it just cause. So I closed my Amazon credit credit card, opened up a blue cash preferred. I think I'm gonna close my Southwest also and just use my Chase Sapphire preferred for all my travel deals. And what I also did too is I wrote out what each credit card is going to be used for and like, how I can use it most effectively. That would be a tip this year too, is to just do an audit of all the credit cards you have. For me, the less is better. I also have an Apple credit card that I keep open. Never, ever, ever cancel your longest lasting credit card because that's the one that has all of your credit history. If you're anything like me, I don't have any loans. I don't really have a credit history. My credit history is the first credit card that I opened in college. So my credit history is not that long and that affects your, your credit score. So I'm never closing that one. I only put like $20 on it every single month just to keep it alive. Cause I think that if you don't use it, sometimes bank will cl banks will close it out for you. So just a note there, that's what I've been doing this month as well. But yeah, so that's been travel and vacation, gifts and presents, as you guys know, I've been purchasing that in November. Um, restaurants, groceries, I think I'm definitely over budget for these two. Home, I thought I was just gonna buy a vacuum. Angeline bought a new bedside and lampstand for a room and I, I've been loving it. Yeah, and we also bought an air mattress when it was Black Friday because I feel so bad when my friends come over, they have to sleep on this couch. It's not the most comfortable couch to sleep on. So having an air mattress will I think will entice my friends to come over more and give them like a nice comfortable space to, space to sleep in. So that's home. Going into like my targets of like where I was able to hit for my budgets, Restaurants, I feel like we're always over. I always think I'm gonna spend 250 and have that as a goal. And then like every month, it's like something to do every single weekend and I like have FOMO, so I go. I'm trying to do like a better job at either like eating before I go out or ordering from like a kid's menu or something small. But it honestly, it adds up so, so much. But next year, I think like I'm gonna up my budget for restaurants because I do enjoy spending quality times with my friends and eating over and having a good conversation over a really good meal. I think that's honestly my love language and I should stop pretending like I'm gonna spend under 250 uh, on that a month. Clothing went up this month. Again, my phone bill was a lot because I bought the new iPhone 15 and have monthly installments, but I think what I'm gonna try to do once the holiday season is over and I can do a really good assessment of where I am at financially before 2024, um, then I'll probably take out some of my money from my emergency fund, which is around 20,000, I think around Actually, it's around 15 to 17,000 right now, but taking money out of that to pay for my phone bill because I hate being in debt, it gives me anxiety. So just paying that off because I know I can always keep building my emergency fund and that's what it's there for. That's everything for this month. So the sun is down and we pretty much wrapped up my December monthly reset. I hope you guys have the best December 
yet you get to eat a lot of yummy food, spend time with your loved ones, or spend time with yourself and give yourself the love and rejuvenation you need to kick off the year strong. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.